Dear Diary, I messed up. Big time. <sighs> I know I never wrote anything down about Alberta. Alberta is my colleague at work. I must confess, I sometimes look at Alberta in a different way. And I can tell she likes me. We're in the same department, so we're together most of the time. I never mention her to Cindy because I know it will bring problems. Dear Diary, I know we are married, but how am I to trust my husband if I see such a text message on his phone? What do I do? Trust him or question him? Babe, I can, I can Chris, explain. it's okay. I don't need you to explain any English to me. I read and understood what the you, message you're said. You're getting this all wrong. I prefer that way, Chris. Please, I don't want to talk about this. Babe, Alberta is just a good friend at the office. I've heard you. What? I said I've heard you. Don't worry. Cindy, she went to get food and because I was staying late at work, I asked her to get me some of the food. Didn't you know your wife had cooked? I know, but the message you saw, she was just asking if I liked the food. That's all. Chris, I'm really trying to hold my temper back. Cindy. Please don't push me. Cindy, Cindy, listen. Chris, if you don't find my food tasty, then tell me so I stop worrying myself. Let me ask you something, and, and I need you to be honest with me, please. Ever since we started dating, you've hardly touched anything I cook. It's always one excuse to the next. I've been meaning to ask you this. Do you have a problem with my cooking? <laughs> Chris, I'm talking to you. Cindy, come, come, come closer. No, no, come Chris, closer. I just want to know. Is there a problem with my cooking? <sighs> no. Okay, Cindy, yes. I, I have a problem with the food. I'm hurt. I'm, I'm so hurt. Don't take this the wrong way. <laughs> wrong way? Chris, which other way am I supposed to take this? You said you don't like my cooking, so it's fine. I won't add you to the food I cook. Dear Diary, I shouldn't have said that to Cindy, but how am I going to take my words back? The truth is, Cindy needs a bit more time to perfect her cooking. So, what do I do now? I think Alberta can be sorting out your food every day. She's even welcome to live here Case. if she wants. Case, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have said that. You, it's okay. Let's forget about all this, okay? Hello, Kujo. Hey, how are you? I'm fine. Oh, what's, what's up with you? I just thought of calling you. Sorry I hit you up late. But I'm actually at the airport now. I'm leaving the country for a bit. Oh, wow. And you didn't tell me till now? Yeah. I wanted to even meet up with you after your wedding, but I figured it out that you'd probably be on your honeymoon or something. Well, not yet. I haven't had any honeymoon yet. Hmm, but I'm sure you're pregnant by now. <laughs> oh, you too. <laughs> Sorry, I should have asked. Is your husband by you? No. Oh, you're sure? Because already I felt it was late when I was calling. Oh, that's fine. We can talk. Anyway, I've always been thinking what it would have been if we had gotten married. Same here, but I guess that didn't happen, so? Look, I've got to run off now. We'll be boarding the flight any minute now. See, I didn't even ask you, where, where are you traveling to? I'm, I'm doing Am Amsterdam for a week. Then I fly to New York before settling in LA. Oh, you'll be missed. Hurry off then before you miss your flight, okay? Yeah, I'll text you my new number when I settle in LA, yeah? Okay, that's fine. I'll be expecting it. Take care then. Am I allowed to still say I love you? Um, yes. I love you, Cindy. <laughs> Same here. Why? You can't say it back. Let my actions speak. Better? All right. So we talk later. Good night. Good night. Cindy, who was that? Go to Alberta. Good night. Dear Diary, how am I even going to resolve this? For Cindy to boldly speak to another man at 10 p.m. in such a manner, next to me, her husband, we have a big problem. Dear Diary, two can play the game, but I am the game. If Chris thinks Alberta's food is better, then Kojo's food is also better.